Imagine a star so big and bright that it has waves as tall as three suns crashing on its surface. Sounds like something out of science fiction, right? Well, it's not. It's actually a real star that astronomers have recently discovered and observed. And it's not just any star, it's a heartbeat star, a rare and mysterious type of binary star that pulsates like a beating heart. In this video, we're going to explore this amazing discovery and what it can teach us about the secrets of the stars. Let's dive in. So let's start with what are heartbeat stars. They are binary stars, meaning they are two stars that orbit each other around a common center of mass. But they are not ordinary binary stars. They have very eccentric orbits, meaning they are very oval-shaped and not circular. This causes the distance between the two stars to vary drastically as they orbit each other. Sometimes they are very far apart, and sometimes they are very close together. When they are close together, something incredible happens. The gravity of one star pulls on the other star and creates tides, just like the moon does on Earth. These tides make the star change its shape and brightness, creating a pulsating effect that looks like a heartbeat on a graph. That's why they are called heartbeat stars. Heartbeat stars are fascinating and challenging for astronomers because they can reveal a lot of information about the physics and evolution of stars. By studying how they change their shape and brightness, we can learn about their internal structure, their rotation, their magnetic fields, their chemical composition, and their age. We can also learn about how they interact with each other in binary systems, and how they affect their surroundings with their powerful waves and radiation. But not all heartbeat stars are the same. Some of them have more extreme orbits and more intense pulsations than others. And some of them have features that we have never seen before in any other star. HD 74423 is a new heartbeat star system that was discovered by citizen scientists using data from NASA's TESS mission. TESS is a space telescope that scans the sky for planets that pass in front of their host stars, blocking some of their light. This is called a transit, and it can tell us a lot about the size and orbit of the planet. But TESS can also detect other types of variations in starlight, such as those caused by heartbeat stars. One of the citizen scientists who analyzed the test data was Lee Rosenthal, a PhD student at Caltech. He noticed something unusual about this specific system, HD 74423. He noticed that its light curve had an unusual shape that looked like a shark fin. He realized that this was not caused by a planet, but by a star that was being distorted by its companion. He contacted professional astronomers who confirmed his finding and studied the system in more detail using various telescopes and instruments. They found out that HD 74423 is the most extreme example of a heartbeat star ever observed. It consists of two stars. One is about 1.7 times the mass of the Sun and has a surface temperature of about 7,900 Kelvin. The other is about two times the mass of the Sun and has a surface temperature of about 7,600 Kelvin. They orbit each other every 1.6 days at an average distance of only 8 million kilometers, which is about 20 times closer than Mercury is to the Sun. But what makes HD 74423 really special is that it has the largest tidal amplitude ever observed in any star system. This means that the difference between its highest and lowest tides is huge, which is about three times the radius of the Sun. This creates enormous waves on the surface of the star that are as tall as three suns, these waves are so big and fast that they break and splash on the star's surface, releasing a lot of energy into space. How do these waves form, and why are they so big and fast? Well, it has to do with how gravity works in binary systems. Gravity is not constant. It depends on how far apart two objects are from each other. The closer they are, the stronger the gravity. The farther they are, the weaker the gravity. In binary systems, this means that one side of each star feels more gravity than the other side when they are close together. This creates an imbalance in pressure that makes the star bulge out on both sides along the line connecting them. This is called tidal bulging, and it happens to all objects with tides, including Earth. But tidal bulging is not static. It changes as the stars move around each other in their orbits. As they get closer or farther apart, or as they rotate around their own axes, 
The tidal bulges also move around on their surfaces. This creates waves that travel along the surface of the star following the tidal bulges. The size and speed of these waves depend on several factors, such as the mass, radius, orbit, and rotation of the stars. In HD 74423, these factors combine to create very large and fast waves. The stars are very massive and close together, which means they have very strong gravity and tides. The orbit is very eccentric, which means the distance between the stars changes a lot during one cycle. And the rotation is very slow, which means the waves have more time to grow and accelerate. All these factors make this system a perfect storm for stellar surfing. The waves are so big and fast that they can reach speeds of up to 500 kilometers per second, which is about 1,800 times faster than the speed of sound on Earth. They are also so powerful that they can affect the temperature, brightness, and spectrum of the star. The temperature can change by up to 1,000 Kelvin, which is about twice as much as the temperature difference between day and night on Earth. The brightness can change by up to 10%, which is about 100 times more than the brightness change caused by sunspots on the sun. And the spectrum can show variations in the absorption lines of different elements, such as iron and calcium, which tell us about the chemical composition and structure of the star. What does this discovery mean for our understanding of stellar physics and evolution? Well, it means that we have a lot to learn from heartbeat stars. They are not only beautiful to look at, but also very informative and intriguing. Heartbeat stars pose some of the most open questions and challenges to our current theories about how stars work and change over time. For example, why do they have such eccentric orbits, and how do they avoid becoming more circular over time due to tidal dissipation? Tidal dissipation is the process by which the gravitational energy of the orbit is converted into heat and radiated away, reducing the orbital angular momentum and making the orbit more circular. This is expected to happen in any binary system with tidal interactions, especially when the stars are close to each other. However, some heartbeat stars seem to defy this expectation and maintain their highly elliptical orbits for a long time. One possible explanation is that there are other forces or mechanisms that counteract the tidal dissipation and keep the orbit eccentric. For example, some heartbeat stars have a third companion star that perturbs the orbit and prevents it from circularizing. Another possibility is that the tidal dissipation is not as efficient as we think and that there are other factors that affect the tidal response of the stars, such as their rotation, magnetic fields, or internal structure. These factors could also explain why some heartbeat stars show tidally excited oscillations, which are pulsations triggered by the tidal forces at the closest approach. These pulsations can tell us more about how the stars vibrate and resonate with each other, and how they exchange energy and angular momentum through their tides. By studying heartbeat stars in more detail, we can learn more about how stars interact with each other in binary systems and how they evolve over time. Heartbeat stars are not only rare and extreme cases of stellar physics, they are also common outcomes of stellar evolution. Many stars are born in binary or multiple systems, and many of them will eventually become heartbeat stars as they age and expand. Some of them may even merge with their companions and create new types of stars or explosions. But how can we study heartbeat stars in more detail? Well. One way is to use new missions and techniques that can measure their properties and behavior more accurately and precisely. For example, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, which can penetrate through dust and gas that may obscure them in visible light, can also measure their spectra with high resolution and sensitivity, which can reveal more information about their chemical composition and structure. Another way is to use asteroseismology, which is the study of stellar pulsations using sound waves. Sound waves can travel inside stars and probe their internal structure and dynamics. By measuring how these sound waves change as they pass through different layers of the star, we can infer what's going on inside them. Asteroseismology can also help us determine the mass, radius, temperature, age, rotation, magnetic field, and composition of stars with high accuracy. Asteroseismology can be applied to heartbeat stars using data from TESS or other space telescopes that monitor their brightness variations over time. By analyzing these variations with sophisticated models and algorithms, 
we can extract the sound wave signals from the noise and interpret what they mean for the star's properties and behavior. Thank you for watching this video about Heartbeat Stars. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new about these amazing objects in our universe. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe.